Innovation. And one of the hardest things you will ever face in your road to destiny is forgiveness. That's the hardest thing you're going to ever face, guys. Now follow me here. Why do marriages end in divorce? Why do family members stop speaking to each other and completely cut each other off? How can two childhood friends grow up together and can't stand being in the same room with each other and have a passion or a hatred towards each other? How can people leave churches and be upset and become church? It's all because of offenses, guys. All because of offenses. Offenses has a toxicity to it, a pollution, if you will, that if it's not properly, uh, properly dealt with or expelled from the heart, it will seep down into your soul, poison your personality, and entrap your mind, your will, and your emotions. Offenses, if they're not properly dealt with, they will rob you of your peace. They will rob you of your joy. They will rob you of your faith. This is why the disciples said, increase our faith. Listen, there's a story of, of two twins, right, that were raised by an alcoholic father, right? One of them became an alcoholic. And they told him, they said, you know, why, why are you an alcoholic? You're just like your daddy. Why are you an alcoholic? He said, it's because I was raised as an alcoholic. The other twin never touched the drink in his life. And they say, that's kind of ironic. Why? Why haven't you even touched a drink? He said, because I was raised by an alcoholic father. And I don't want to be like him. It's not what happens to you that matters the most. But what happens inside of you that matters the most. The enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to ruin your peace. He wants to ruin your joy. He wants to ruin your mental and emotional well-being. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why are we suffering from so much depression, so much anxiety attacks? He's after your peace have to let it go you have to let it go and as long as you are tied to your past you cannot reach forth to the future of your destiny Peter asked Jesus how many times do I forgive him if he comes to me and offends me in one day seven times Peter is a hypochondriac trying to find excuses for his dysfunction Peter is trying to find an excuse why he cursed and why he cuts people's ears off. He's trying to find an excuse by blaming it on somebody else. Jesus told him, even if he comes to you seven times in a penny, 70 times seven, you forgive him. And the disciples screamed out and they said, God, you got to increase our faith. I'm not saying what you've been through has been easy. I know, I know. It takes supernatural power to let some things go in your life. To let go of all the abuse and all of the confusion. Believe me, I know. God knows it more than anybody. And I'm not saying what you've been through means nothing. He knows where you are. He knows about your condition. He knows who walked out of your life and who left you. He knows who rejected you, who abused you, who betrayed you, who talked about you. He knows everything. But there comes a point in your walk where you have to ask God to give you faith. Faith to let it go. Faith so I can move forward. Faith so I can succeed. Faith so I can reach my destiny. Faith so I can forgive those who hurt me. Faith to forgive my parents who betray me, who speak negativity over my life. Faith, God, increase my faith so I can continue to move forward. I'm not saying what you've been through has been easy. And I'm not saying that what you've been through you can just forget overnight. But I am saying that you got to stop making that as an excuse. For you not to move forward. There comes a time where you have to let it go. The trap, they're not, they're living their life, right? They're living their life. They offended you, they hurt you, but they're still moving forward. You're the one caught in ruins. You're the one caught in trap. You have to let it go. 
forgiveness is the hardest thing you will ever face in your journey. But forgiveness is not for them. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is for you. Thank you for watching.